In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve problem 4 of this assignment, Project 3.1.7 Machine Control Design, and problem 4 involves the cable winding mechanism. So here's my program, um, going to my motor and sensor setup. Uh, in port 1 of motors, I have a VEX 393 motor and I call it spool and uh, don't check off any of these uh, just leave these as is under my digital sensors I have a bump switch at uh, sense at port 1 I call it bump and it, I have it set at touch in port 2, digital port 2, I have a, uh, a quad coder and uh, I call it quad and notice that it's taking up two ports because it's a uh, two-wire uh, encoder. And then in the last port, port 12, I have a LED, a green LED, and it's a, a VEX LED. And here's how I have my um, motor set up. I have a, a, a 393 motor and a bushing. A series of hardware here holding the encoder to the motor and I have a shaft coming from the motor and going through the encoder. Notice there's two wires coming from this one and the wire that's closest to the mounting hardware goes into a digital port 2. Uh, the second wire uh, goes into digital port 3. So uh, here's my program. I start off with uh, by turning off the LED if it's on. I make sure it's off. Uh, turn off the LED, and then I uh, use a while statement and uh, to create a continuous loop. And everything between this uh, curly bracket and this one here at the the end, this one here, the second to the last one, will run continuously in a continuous loop. I start out with, there's two while statements, and uh, the first one, uh, it checks the bumper to see if it's bump switch to see if it's being pressed, and then it uh, checks to see if the LED is on. And if the LED is off, if both these statements are true, this, this means here, and this uh, apperstand apperstand means and so while the bump switch is pressed and while the green LED is off I do the if these two statements are true both of them are true I do what's within these curly brackets I turn on the green LED and I start the motor and I wait uh, 100 milliseconds. Now the reason I wait 100 milliseconds is uh, to give my my motor a chance to actually turn on and latch and the, the button, the push button to latch before I go on to the next step. If uh, these are not true, uh, I drop down to my next while statement and I ask, is the bumper switch being pressed? And is the green LED on? If both the statements are true, I do what's in these curly brackets. Uh, I turn off the LED, I stop the motor, and I uh, reset my encoder to zero, and then I wait uh, 100 milliseconds. So this second while statement serves the, the purpose of a panic button. So if at any time during the, the operation, these two while statements will be uh, operating continuously in the background. If at any time I uh, pre the, the, the button is pressed while the motor is on, it, the motor will turn off automatically. So that's my panic button, uh, the statement in the, in the problem. 
So after those two are running, I'm gonna I have an if statement and I say if the encoder has uh, measured uh, 1400 degrees rotation, I stop. I stop the motor, and uh, so each rotation of the uh, of the motor is 360 degrees, and uh, I'm measuring four rotations, uh, which is uh, 1440 degrees. So after my motor rotates four times, it turns off, uh, simulating the rotation of cable around a spool. Now, just by trial and error, I, uh, I found that uh, it kept overshooting. If I set this to 1440, it would overshoot, so I, I uh, adjusted it. And I find that if I set it at 1403, it stops exactly at four rotations at 1414 degrees. And so after my cable is wound, I stop my motor, and then I start all over again. So I'm going to go ahead and compile the program and download it. And I'm going to go ahead and start it. And notice that uh, down here I have my, my uh, variables, my bumper, my bump switch, my encoder, and my green LED. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. And you see my program running. And I'm going to press the, the button. And when I do, uh, touch will turn to 1. And the LED will turn on. And my encoder will reset to 0 and start counting. And when it reaches 1440, it'll stop and just short of 1440. So I'm going to do that one more time. Uh, touch is going to turn to 1, and uh, the LED is on. And it stops just short of 1440 again. So I'm going to just turn it on again, press one more time, and I'm going to interrupt it and by pressing the button and in the middle of the winding it stopped the uh, motor uh, simulating the panic button, pressing the panic button. So here's the code to the program. Enter it into robot C. Set up your cortex. Uh, debug your program. Get it running. And give me a call when you're done.